So it's been a while since I put something out on YouTube, on my YouTube channel here at Tag Living Loud. And the reason is, is because I've really been doing some really deep dive thinking about the investment world and what it's going to look like over the next, say, 36 months. Um, I know that's a short period of time. I believe that in 36 months that things will be really drastically different. So here's what I've been thinking about. And uh, this could be a short video, so stick with me. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Trying to build my followership and create great, great content for you uh, in the future. So here's, here's what I've been thinking about. I've been thinking a lot about crypto. I've been thinking about not it as a currency, but rather the technology side of things. How deep um, can this go? How can it change our world? Um, and how we are going to go about building software, um, services, that kind of thing in the future? And how does the technology behind crypto come into play? I think it's very big. I think it's pretty magnificent what it will do. But I also think it will be really, really confusing for most people. That's one thing I've been thinking about. Second thing I've been thinking about is the end of the COVID trade um, or COVID intermediate term investment. And what I mean by that is um, I believe we are coming to the end of COVID as we no have known it. I believe we've got probably another six to nine more months of COVID, 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 this, that, and the other. And the reason I believe that is, if you go back and you look at the Spanish flu, um, it lasted basically 24 months from start to peak to um, to the bottom and to the end of it and to where normalization started happening again. Well, I believe the same thing is happening with COVID, but in a maybe a 18 month period of time because of the vaccine. Vaccine seems to be coming effective. Um, I went to the CDC website and you're seeing the number of daily cases is dropping. A uh, number of deaths related to COVID is dropping. So we're starting to see that rate of change, that acceleration to um, a semi-normal environment when it comes to COVID. And this is where I believe the hype and the excitement over the electric vehicle market um, is coming to a slow uh, mellowing out and end. No, because, you know, with a lot of these big audio manufacturers, they're putting an enormous amount of money and effort into this area. And so I believe that will continue. But it's when it comes to uh, stock prices in these cat in this sector, I believe it is starting to sell off, and we have seen some some of the major uh, electric vehicle companies take some big dips, and I think that will continue uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, along with you know the 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 Fang stocks, along with the the big names, where I do think that the opportunity will is and that will you will look back 12 months from now and go, I am glad I'm in that sector um, or I wish I was in that sector. Hopefully you are will profit from uh, this sector or these sectors. But the areas where I look at is we're coming to an end with COVID. We're starting to get out and do more of, our, of what we used to do a year ago. And a lot of that includes energy, it includes retail, and it includes uh, travel. And so those are the three sectors that I am really heavily focused on. And there are three sectors that have been beaten up in a big way. Um, they have, uh, when it comes to travel, I mean, you think about the airlines, the airline booking companies, um, the, the cruise ship industry. These are three areas that have had no love for 12 months. And their price, uh, their prices, depending on the companies you invest in, have been just really beaten up. And I see these as opportunities uh, for as we come out of this 
COVID uh, environment and we start to normalize to some level, I see some great opportunities in travel. Energy, because of what's happened in Texas, because of what has happened with some of the OPEC nations in reducing um, the amount of oil being produced, and then with the Biden administration and it's basically ending the uh, Keystone Pipeline and the uh, look at how they are basically tightening up on oil production in the United States, all that's going to do is shrink supply and as we get back out and we start filling up our gas tanks again, we're going to see the cost of oil, uh, gasoline go up along with other oil products. I've seen it in my recently going out and uh, filling up my car. I was blown away at how much I put in, how much it cost to put uh, fill up my car compared to, uh, say, six months ago. So I see an incredible opportunity in the energy sector, and I'm not just talking one the large biggest large cap company out there but rather from exploration to pulling it out of the ground to uh, refining it to um, shipping it and then to uh, distribution the this is an area where you can get pretty diversified in that area and you got to think in the sense of who's going to be the first to profit first and i think that is going to be um, uh, a great area to be in. And then retail. I think, I believe that online retail has been great. And we've seen the benefits from some major online retailers. Um, but I, heck, I want to get back out. I want to get back out in the stores. I want to be able to try it on before I buy it or to hold it um, rather than looking on my computer screen. And it's also a social element. I mean, when you go out into the malls, to the uh, stores, it's a level of social element. And we have not had that for over a year now where we have been locked down. And in some cases, a lot of states are still locked down. But once we open those doors and you're able to go out and uh, and do that and tra or tra travel to the store, go and meander through the store and look for things, I think we'll spend more time in stores. And because we have a vote on uh, Friday with the uh, stimulus package, uh, the next stimulus package, we're going to have a little bit more money in our pockets. And we're going to hopefully uh, go out and spend that. And if we go out and spend that, then the economy start, continues to recover and we can see, continue to see growth. And that means retail, energy, and travel all benefit in a big way. I still argue that the majority of America cannot afford a $938 Tesla car payment. Um, that is, it is a industry that is coming. And when we get more infrastructure spending, uh, happening and that is something I'm also looking at is infrastructure spending and the equipment side of infrastructure building uh, industrial side of things um, I see some opportunities there and so what I've been doing in the since the last video uh, is doing more research on those categories so everything from the crypto world uh, to the um, retail to energy to uh, travel and to industrial side of things um, those were our areas where i see great opportunity and we're starting to reallocate dollars to those areas not totally getting out of some of our positions that we have uh, benefit greatly during the last year but reallocating to the next opportunity in a sense you know, looking forward to the future and as things change again and the weather warms up and we're able to get out and do more. Um, I just heard here recently that uh, um, Boris Yeltsin, the prime minister of uh, the UK, is basically opening the door for travel. Because we have a vaccine, more people are being vaccinated, they're getting out and opening the doors to go travel, go spend, go do. And that travel side of things is going to benefit from that. And as more and more countries um, benefit from, uh, you know, the vaccine and the opening the doors again, these are industries or sectors that I believe are going to do well. So that's what I've been doing. 
do your due diligence. This is purely educational. No advice here. Just how I'm thinking about things. And I would encourage you to go and do your research and do your homework and just think about the flow of money in the future and how it's going to go and where it's going to go and where have you spent less in the last six months compared to where you potentially will spend more in the next six months. There it is. Take it for what it is. It's my opinion. Not edu It's totally educational, not advice. In the meantime, have a great day, and I hope to share more ideas with you in the coming days.